Uh, hello everyone, this is Pisha. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating the Mac flooding attack uh, with Mac off in Kali Linux. And I will be using the Cisco Pyral switch. While we are waiting for the switch to boot up, I will let me talk about this uh, Mac off tool. The Mac off tool is uh, available as part of the DSNF package. Make sure you have already installed this package in the in your Kali Linux. So in this video, I'll be focusing on this uh, Mac off. which is used to flood the local network uh, switch with the random MAC addresses. You can learn more about this uh, MAC off command in their homepage as well. This one is the DSNF homepage. So let's uh, start with the purpose of this video, video tutorial first before we explore further. We will be exploring all the other available attacking options in the subsequent videos. Okay, now the switch is up. So what we need to do is we log into the Kali Linux. explore the available option from the Mac off. So what I will do here is I will issue the man the Mac off. Here as you can see here uh, with the Mac off command we can use the dash i which is to specify the interface of your Kali Linux then dot s which is to find the source IP address and then dash T which is the, to specify the destination IP address and then there is a dash E which specifies the target uh, hardware address and then that dash X which specifies the TCP source port and then dash Y then specify the TCP destination ports and then dash n which specify I mean how many number of MAC address you went uh, spoofing sp uh, how many numbers of this uh, random MAC address you want to generate and send to the switch so without further ado I will close this and remember you need to issue this uh, MAC off command as a root user so you need to use the sudo command so before we do that, we need to specify the interface name of your Kali Linux. So I'll do the IPA command to find out the interface name. Okay, my okay, my Kali Linux Itana interface using here is ETH0. So I will use that to perform the attack. And uh before we start the attack, we also need to let's do the some verification on the switch magra table as well. The switch, you should, all the switch uh, network switch I usually have the game table, which stored the MAC address and pop mapping information. I mean, which MAC address? If you are come from the networking field, you might have already understood the first thing. Uh, when a switch receive a packet is it will read it will read the source MAC address and then put it in the GAM table. For example like here. This is the 
this is the our Kali Linux Mahura you can see here 001 and this is connected to the interface switch interface GI000 GI00 sorry so the switch has this uh, kind of information table which keep track of the MAC address you know of the devices that the switch is connected so currently only MAC address so we will start the spoofing without further ado sudo c mac off then i will specify the interface dash i eth0 and then what i will do next is uh, i need to specify how many times i will start with the 10 okay let's verify again in the switch table show macros you see of course all the mac address may be i mean we are generating uh, really fast may not be available at the switch because some of them will be dropped by the switch probably because it's coming too fast so we can see nine mac address here so let's generate again Maybe I will do the 10,000 instead of the 1,000. See what happens. You see? The switch got hang. Oh, now it's back. I think let's verify with the counts. So we can see clearly. You see, we can see the at least the switch uh, process. 3000 MAC address out of 10,000 so of course some of the frames will be dropped by the connectivity okay let's do that maybe 100,000 no I think the switch hang already it's not working anymore so that's why it's really important you know you don't do this kind of attack simulation in the live network even even if you are a penetration testing engineer make sure you always have a proper authorization contract or sign agreement to do this I think this will definitely cause a switch to hang or maybe reboot in the real life scenario because here we are using this uh, pyral switch which is the virtual switch maybe that's why the switch is still in the real production network uh, with a physical switch I think the switch should have reboot as up by now because of the spike in CPU I think I will stop now. That's enough. I press just press Control C, then wait for the switch to up. In this demo, I'm using a uh, EVNG which is a very good simulation tool to learn a lot of stuff in cyber security and network security and as well as uh, networking. You can even use this to learn if you are a system engineer and developer, whatever you are, you can use this, yeah. It's a very 
powerful tool and I highly recommend it. Oh, last figure of the account object, you see. You see, the switch have read uh, 28,000 MAC address. So that's the reason the switch is hang. I mean, this is uh, the total MAC address space available. It's just a theoretical value. I mean, maybe in terms of the switch memory, but in the real scenario, the switch might not be able to read because it's not just about the RAM and you know the space. Uh, it's also about the CPU and the processing power of the switch and how the operating system is uh, designed. So that's it. We have successfully performed the backup attack. I hope this video is useful. Uh, we will see you again in next videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.